Molly was diagnosed with equine motor neuron disease and uh, there's no known cause or cure. So I brought him here for research, I guess. Try to help the next horse. And how old is he? He's 13. You've had him ever since he's old? No, I've had him about four years. And how do you uh, how do you use Wally? We used to ride him. He used to be. I had bought him to, for my kids to show, and uh, he colicked about six weeks after we bought him and had to have major surgery. So he ended up being my horse. And while he was healthy enough, I used to um, show him some and take him mostly trail ride on him. But, um, he hasn't been rideable for a while. The symptoms of this particular thing started about October and it kind of came on really suddenly. One day I turned him out when I went to uh, get him to put him back in his stall. He was trembling, almost like he was cold, so I put a blanket on him. And uh, the next day he was still shaking a little bit, not, not that much, just a little bit, almost like shivering. And uh, so I took him back to Chino Valley Equine because it didn't seem normal. So they did a bunch of tests. They tested them for um, West Nile virus and EPM, a bunch of things. And um, he just got progressively worse with his shaking and he holds his head down really low. Uh, the symptoms just kept getting worse. They put him on vitamin E and steroids and it didn't seem to help at all. He's taking a lot of weight. He's, he's, he's very weak in his neck. Apparently, um, in his stall, he rests his head on the stall door for hours on end, as though he's very weak in, the, in his neck. It's a degenerative disease of the central nervous system, and uh, the cause is unknown. And it is called lower motor neuron disease. That is a clinical diagnosis. There has been a muscle biopsy looked at by us and at Cornell. University and in Oregon State University and the consensus is that it is lower motor neuron disease which is a, a disease almost like Lou Gehrig's disease of man. It's very very similar and Lou Gehrig's disease of course um, I think it has a genetic basis but we don't understand this disease and that's why we we want to do a good job on it. It develops over a long period of time uh, we know it's related to vitamin E and selenium deficiency, though I don't think it's been definitely proved. And, and basically this is what you see, the animal is weak and loses condition and it's a shaker. We call that muscle fasciculation or tremor. It's an involuntary movement. She can't help that. He can't help that. So we just got to uh, take some blood samples and then we'll... Yeah, we, I, I thought we should do some uh, enzymes.